Hey there, Naughty the Snake here, but we're headed for Toodle this weekend. About the Kento Pokemon. Pika Pika! So we're ready for the top 15 Kento Pokemon. Part 1 is gotta be... And what is that again? May the 4th be with you. Yes. So let's get things started. Number 1, Jolteon. It accumulates negative ions in the atmosphere mirror to blast out 10,000 volt lightning bolts. I wanted to try the new way to making electricity tough by guessing the hedgehog. I don't think I did this exactly as supposed, but looks somewhat good still. Polywag. The direction of the spiral of the belly differs by area. It is more adapted swimming than walking. If Pokemon were real, I probably had a polywag. It's not necessarily my favorite, but it's up there somewhere. Ekans. The older it gets, the longer it grows. At night, it wraps its long body around tree branches to rest. I kind of like this picture. Should have added shadows and lights, but didn't have the time. But it even looks good without that. Lazy background is lazy. Gengar. On a night of the full moon, its shadows move with their own and laugh. It must be Gengar's doing. There's way too much art of Gengar using Shadow Ball. So here's Gengar using Nightmare. I love how this one turned out, especially how it just kind of pulls you in. Machamp. With four arms that react more quickly than I can think, it can execute more many punches at once. Godin. Its dorsal pectoral and tail fins wave ingenuinely in water. That is why it is known as the Water Dancer. Dutrio. One of Doodle's two heads splits to form a unique species. It runs close to 40 miles per hour in prairies. Nine Tails. It is said to live 100 years, and each of its tails is loaded with supernatural powers. Day 3 of my 30 day Pokemon drawing challenge was to draw your favorite first gen Pokemon. We're all caught up now, but the what? I try to make sure to post them here too. I think Ninetales and Vulpix are actually tied for me though. <laughs> Eggs Ecutor. It cries are very noise. But this is because each of these three heads think about whatever it likes. Pokemon number 103. Eggs Ecutor. Going for those tropical beach vibes, baby. And finally, Snorlax. It is not satisfied unless it eats over 880 pounds of food every day. When it is done eating, it's it goes permanently to sleep. Well, there you have it. So come back for part two about these more Pokemon. And we'll see you on Wednesday. Pika Pika! Bye-bye!